At the beginning of the great dinosaur revolution, there was Britain. It's still one of the world's leading epicenters in paleontology and is today celebrated for its wide pantheon of dinosaurs and other Mesozoic creatures. But by far the most important of these beasts is still the first to be discovered, Megalosaurus, the big lizard. But exactly how did this big lizard hunt? It is currently the dry season in these mid-Jurassic islands, and the ecological stress has funneled one of nature's largest predators onto the beach. Megalosaurus. When the tide goes out, he oftentimes goes combing for carrion. Having a mindset comparable to an alligator, Megalosaurus isn't too choosy with his food. He might decide to pick over the remains of fish, turtles, or perhaps even the isolated remains of an ichthyosaur. In 2016, the footprints of several megalosaurs were discovered on a fossilized beach in Portugal. 90% of the prints run parallel towards each other, leading experts to theorize that several animals were purposely directing themselves towards the shoreline during low tide to feast on beached carcasses. Past the Delta and Coniferous forests is a dried up riverbed. Today, it's experiencing the shudders of traveling behemoths. This herd of Cetiosaurus is making their way towards their nesting grounds. This should also be the time of year in which Megalosaurus congregate in order to take down the weaker animals. But this large male seems to be the only one present. A fully grown Megalosaurus is more than capable of taking down a seven-year-old Cetiosaurus cub. It's foolhardy to try alone, but hunger makes the predator risk everything. In 2008, extensive analysis indicated that Megalosaurus had an air sac near its cheek, which would allow it to release more energy for killing, making it more efficient as a predator. In fact, most Megalosaur family members are placed in a region of high efficiency and have high mechanical advantage at the tip of their jaws. However, it has also been shown that theropods with high mechanical advantage are unlikely to have skulls that can withstand high stress. There is one advanced theropod that correlates with this, Carcharodontosaurus. In 2001, new discoveries linked this gigantic predator to the sauropod dinosaur, Paralotitan, suggesting a predator-prey relationship. More recent studies still suggest that they could have easily taken down a juvenile of this species without toppling over, so it's not too hard to assume that Megalosaurus also not only fed on the sauropods in its ecosystem, but occasionally hunted the juveniles. There are several different species of stegosaur in this formation, and none have ever been given names. This one appears to be a strange mutant, with more plates and fewer tail spines or thagomizers, which makes it a perfect target for Megalosaurus. Even so, the thagomizers are laid sideways and point at an angle towards the tip of the tail, which means that Megalosaurus can't attack from behind or the sides. It needs to attack from the front.
Ichthyosaurus's teeth is a teardrop shape that prevents it from cutting efficiently through flesh like the teeth of the carnosaurs, which are blade-like and far more suited to slicing through flesh like a knife. However, by observing Megalosaurus's skeleton and looking at some of the theories surrounding a similar dinosaur, Allosaurus, we can come up with a reasonable thesis for how Megalosaurus may have killed Stegosaurus. First, mainly using the tip of its jaws, Megalosaurus would bite into a rounded surface on the Stegosaurus body, perhaps the underbelly. It would then twist its neck in order to get a better grip. And then, by using the inertia of the prey's struggle against its robust build, Megalosaurus pulls back its head, slicing the teeth deeper into the flesh, causing tremendous shock and blood loss. He feeds on the animal in a denser part of the forest, where it bled out trying to make its escape. This method of hunting requires a lot of energy, which is why Megalosaurus has a special air sac located near its cheek. This makes it a much more efficient predator than the later Tyrannosaurus. Megalosaurus is ancestral to some of the greatest theropods ever known, such as Allosaurus, Spinosaurus, and even T-Rex. In fact, without first discovering it, we wouldn't even know that these magnificent beasts ever existed. We have since built museums to celebrate the majesty and legacy of the dinosaurs, and it all comes back to the first ever to be discovered.